All right, guys, how you doing? I'm uh, doing a thing on uh, this pat. This girl right here, uh, she had uh, done a, a. I caught my attention because I drink Monster. She was doing a thing on Monster Energy and how the lady thinks it's six six six. And but uh, let's read. Uh, if you've seen this or not, it's a pretty viral clip circulating around the news and different websites. A pastor was abusive to a little boy. And normally, whenever you hear about a pastor abusing a young boy, you think it's maybe something of a sexual nature. But this time, it was physical abuse. This pastor, I think his name was Eric DeMann. Go to the Jacqueline Glenn. J-A-C-L-Y-N Glenn. Go, go subscribe to her channel. That's what you have to do to promote. Okay, guys? In a sermon, he almost kind of bragged about doing this. He was just, he was a nice kid. He was one of those kids that was always just, he's a real smart Like kid. me. Too he's smart just, for was, everybody. Was a bright kid, which didn't help things, right? Made him more dangerous. Right. So they thought I was dangerous. It's a bad thing. Intelligence is a dangerous yeah. thing. Thou shalt not be smart. Thou shalt <coughs> not think for yourself. Ah. Thou shalt not think and for yourself. And that's how I grew up. Funny maybe about fairy tales. And with my intelligence, that's a bad we thing, guys. One day, youth group. That's why I got four and, uh, sentences just, in prison. Just to push my buttons, and, he was just, you know, and then this of, moron right here. Serious. And I walked over to him. And I'd I, like to punch that bad. sucker right in the I face. Him in the chest as hard as I, I why? Because you're again. a pussy. I just crumpled him. Why? Because you, you, you're, you're an idiot. You're a moron. Said, we can go over a whole bunch of when stuff about you, dude. Games with God. But you're playing games with lives. Dumbass. There's times that that might be needed. It's and not needed. Man, little boy, to the Lord right there, because sometimes uh, violence is necessary. Sometimes you have to punch <laughs> it boo, uh, because that wouldn't cause damage uh, potentially to any of the vital organs that might be there uh, by any chance, right? You had to bring down the God hammer. I mean, sometimes it's just what you gotta do. I mean, Thor does it, and no one even bats an eye, <laughs> right? But someone does it for Jesus, and people just get all pissed. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of stealing Thor's thunder a little bit. I might be getting that confused with Zeus. I mean, Thor is just going to get pissed off about this. I mean, he's just going to be like, come on now, you're taking the spotlight off me. I am not doing another movie. And that is how you go off onto a tangent. But anyways, this guy issued a truly heartwarming apology. I would like to say that I do not endorse child abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my actions were inexcusable. I can really feel the sentiment coming through on this one. I like how he starts off by saying, I would like to say, and you can take that as, I would like to say something, or... I would like to say that I don't endorse child abuse, but sometimes you gotta break down that god hammer. You know, you gotta <laughs> just punch a kid in the chest. It's not like his heart's there. Anything else important, you know. Now, the thing that gets me is that there are a lot of people who are really pissed off about this, and rightfully so. They say things like, how could anyone in the congregation ever support this pastor again after he said something so horribly violent and just not excusable? How and could anyone go see him again? How could he have any support? Because pe people see pastors and not commit no sins at all. Again. Because, you know, that's not what we stand for, being all religious and whatnot. They say this, and they're just totally outraged by this guy's violence and the fact that he's proud of it. And they don't want to support something or someone who endorses that type of behavior. Yet they totally ignore the Bible that has tons and tons of violent things in it, tons of which endorse child abuse. Like, for example, a bear mauling a bunch of children because they made fun of a kid that was bald because, you know, that punishment totally fits the crime. But people will say, oh, no, no, I mean, I've read the Bible. It has an overall positive message. They just ignore all the bad things. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you ignore the bad things, that's a problem. If you haven't even seen the bad things, which is the case for a lot of people who are religious, that's an even bigger problem. Huh. People ask me all the time. They say, well, you've read The God Delusion, or you've read God is Not Great. Which one of these books has been the biggest influence in your conversion to atheism? And I tell them, you know what? Neither. The book influencing me the most was the Bible. Bible. <laughs> this is kind of horrible. Oh, no, no, no. But what you don't understand is that when he said, do not add and subtract to this book, he knew that people were going to add to it and subtract to it already. Yeah, this is the devil taking your thoughts off of Jesus. Cool shit. So check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye. Subscribe to our channel, Jacqueline Glenn, on YouTube. I'm Dr. YouTube, Timothy Tucker. Subscribe to my channel.
Uh, that's about on religion because of uh, not on on religion. We got more on religion. I I was beat because of it, but uh, anyways, I read this video this morning because uh, of the monster thing. I drink monsters and and uh, how they were trying to say it's the beast and now we're the beast or whatever. You know what I mean? The beast is those million dollar companies that have stacks and stacks of cash sitting there and they're still starving children. That's the problem I got. Because I know if I had any extra money that I would go feed those people. But all these rich people, they just keep it in the savings account, you know, fake numbers and let those people starve. So, anyways, uh, that's on religion. Like, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.